beautiful people! Welcome to my new YouTube channel, Very Fairy V. I'm V, and this channel is all about DIY, do-it-yourself tutorials, sewing tutorials, hair and makeup tutorials, lifestyle, travel, blogging. You want to do it yourself, right? Exactly. I'm here to be helping you guys live your life, do what you do, and make awesome stuff in the process. So, in this video, we're going to be upcycling a plain white t-shirt. We're going to make it into a really fashionable summer tube top with some ruching at the front. And then, we're going to even dye it, natural dye it, with onion skins. So... Yeah, I've never done this before, so bear with me. We're all in this together. We'll see how it turns out. We're going to have fun in the process. So let's get started. So grab any old white t-shirt. I stole this one from my boyfriend when he wasn't looking out of his closet. And I'm just going to start with this. So first thing you're going to want to do is just lay your t-shirt out flat on a table and we're going to cut from underarm to underarm. So I'm using a fabric scissor. I recommend you doing that because, you know, cutting with a paper scissor just ain't the same. Next, measure the length from your chest to where you want the shirt to end. You can also use a shirt you already have and use the length of that as a reference. And go ahead and cut a straight line from the bottom of the shirt. Save that extra fabric for later because we're going to be using it to make our ruffles. Next, you're just going to want to pin along that side. So that's going to be how wide your shirt is, how it's going to fit you. So after you pin, you're going to want to try this on just to make sure it's fitting you right and make adjustments as needed. Then I'm going to go ahead and just sew along that edge. I'm sewing on the outside of the pins just to give myself a little extra room. And it looks like I'm struggling a little bit with that sewing machine. but So just go ahead and take those pins out after you sew that straight line. And take the shirt and fold it so that that tube we just made is facing the front. This is going to be the front of the shirt now. And so we're going to try to lay the, that extra fabric out so that there's an even amount on each side. And next thing you're going to want to do is just going to pin in straight in the middle to the right and to the left of that tube. About an inch and a half from the center seam. So after you got it pinned on both sides, just go ahead and take it over to your sewing machine and you're going to sew three lines, the left, the right, and the middle. Here have I already sewn the left and the right, now I'm going to just sew right down the middle and that's going to complete the middle section. Here's what it should look like when you're all finished with that. Using the leftover fabric from the bottom of the shirt, I'm just going to measure how much I have and then I'm going to divide that by three. So I'm cutting two inch sections here and this is where we're going to use to do the ruffles. So I'm cutting them at the sides to make them as long as possible. Then I'm just going to pin them right sides together to make one long piece of fabric. And we're back to the sewing machine, so just go ahead and sew all those little strips. To do the ruffle, you're just going to bend over about an inch of fabric, tuck it under, and sew. It'll end up looking something like that, nice and ruffly. Moving right along, we're going to sew the edge of the ruffles to the shirt now. So I'm going to start by pinning it and making sure not to sew over the two holes that we just created. That's where the ruching is going to come in. So just pin it right sides together so that it look, when you fold it over, it looks like that. 
and you're just going to go all the way around, pin, 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 make sure it's laid out nice and flat. You can tell by that crazy thread that my sewing machine was not having it today with me. So it was a little bit of a struggle bus to get that ruffles on, but we're almost there. So after you've pinned it, just go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and sew it up all the way around. This is what it looks like after I've sewed. And notice I did not sew the two middle compartments. Please don't do that. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and just do the straps. So I've got some little bit of thread left over from the shirt and I just made a little strap. You can measure to make sure it fits you nice and tight. And then I did a hem all the way around the top, securing the straps. All right, guys, we are on to the final step. So with whatever bit of fabric you had left over, you're gonna make a string and just attach it to a safety pin. And it's gonna insert from the bottom and go up through the top and back down through the middle. This is gonna be the drawstring that's gonna give the shirt a nice ruched effect. Then just go ahead and scrunch it to your liking and I'm gonna do a nice little tie at the bottom. And that's it, you guys, we're done. We've done it. Success! Welcome back to day two of this tutorial. So now we're going to move on to the natural dyeing part with our onion skins. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright you guys, so step one. We're going to take the shirt from yesterday that we sewed and we're going to just dip it all in to a pot of water. Go ahead and just give it a nice squeeze so that the water can absorb through all the fibers of the shirt. And then I'm going to take some onion skins. These are just yellow onion skins. So this is going to give us a nice yellowy mustard color, hopefully. <laughs> so this is about just two onions. And uh, just take the skin off, and now we're going to go ahead and put these in a pot of hot water and simmer them for about two hours. Let's do it. Alright, got my hot pot of water. I've got my onion skins. Now let's go ahead and turn on the gas. Put that to a simmer. Alright, go ahead and add all those onion skins into the pot, to the hot pot. I don't know if you can really see from this angle, but it's definitely got some color. salt to the pot. This is going to help the natural color of the onions 
absorb better onto the fabric. All right, so we're just gonna let that simmer for about another hour and a half with a little bit higher of heat. Then I'm just gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna let it soak all night. And tomorrow morning we'll see how it looks. Okay, it is the following day. I just moved the shirt into another bowl. And wow, look at that color, you guys. It looks so awesome, like such a mustard yellow. Kind of in love with it, kind of obsessed. So I'm just gonna let this air dry for a few hours. Then we're gonna be able to try it on, see how it fits. I'm so excited that I use this natural dye, all natural onion skins. It's good for your body and good for the environment. upcycle YouTube video. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep seeing content that I'm going to be putting out every week on fashion, on DIY tutorials, beauty, hair, please subscribe to my channel. All right, so I'll be seeing you next week. Ciao, bella.